company call a doctor because bad medicine is back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, the time has finally arrived. I am so excited. It is time to take a look at Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Now, this is one that I have wanted to watch for a long time, and we're finally getting to it. I could not be more excited to be taking the journey with all of you. Oh, man, it's been great actually going through all the previous Mission Impossibles. And hey, look, we got Diamond Dave for this one. So well, you know that he's one. excited. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's another franchise who did six movies and then part one and two for seven and eight that I'm <clears throat> awfully fond of, and I am hoping part seven and upcoming eight are every bit as entertaining. Love the ride so far. Can't wait to see what Tom brings us. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited for this. <laughs> I've only waited forever. <laughs> so at time, what, what do you normally say? Let's get Ready, willing, and able. Oh, God, he forgot his own line. Put it right on the spot. Oh, yeah. man. Let's get ready. It is time, is what he normally oh, says. Get one. ready, willing, and able. Oh. That's brand new. There we go. There you go. Yeah, what they said. Let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. I always like when they give us the GPS coordinates. Mm -hmm. It really helps me put myself in that in place. that spot. Yeah. Подводная лодка Российской Федерации К-599 Севастополь. One might even say, miraculously, after 25,000 nautical miles, the Sevastopol has deliberately approached every navy in the world and remained completely undetected. Stealth submarine. Oh, we that was, was cool. Take it out in order. The most fearsome killing machine ever devised by man. Captain, we have a submerged contact designated Semyon 83, exhibiting totals of a US Virginia class submarine. Distance to deep water? Two kilometers. Coming to course, one zero zero. I love sneaky warfare. Tonos, this loud and clear? You must be closer than that. Nothing moves that fast. All solutions are matching. The range is through. Turning with us again. He can see us. Sir, he's flooding his torpedo tubes. Oh, oh wow. that's cool. He's provoking us. He wants an excuse to blow us out of the water. Enemy torpedo in the water, very two zero zero. Oh, 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 Give me tone, give me tone. <laughs> I'm sure that's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. Maverick. <laughs> Three, two, one, impact! Did they hack, someone they hacked their hacked system? They their system, maybe. Is it Benji? It missed us? No, it vanished. Impact with enemy submarine in three, two, one. Oh! oh. Hacked. Enemy submarine has vanished. Maybe your tech isn't as techy as you thought it was. It was never there. The instruments don't lie. They lied to us today. Secure from battle station. There's a bug in the system. Oh, it's coming oh, back. It's coming back. Oh, no. A ghost in the shell. Yeah, there it is. It's time to go home. Captain, our own torpedo is not responding. It's coming right at us. Our torpedo is homing range 400 meters. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. 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 oh, those guys are donezo. Uh. It's almost like Jarvis. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. Oh. And there's the key. It's half. It's probably all they wanted. <sighs> what an intense. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool. Can we take we're gonna, we're gonna pause for a five minute break. <laughs> you can <Food> delivery? <laughs> DoorDash? Hello? Is it someone in the corner there? You've been, you've been watching Bly too much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, know. there is. There's a somebody in the corner right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. There he is. Easy. There he is! India Zulu 254. Bravo Echo 11. You need to ask me the security question first. What is the oath? We live and die in the shadows for those we hold close and for those we never meet. You can put it on the table. So you just do that with all of his food deliveries? That would be the joke if it's like just like a hoagie or something. That'd be great. Welcome to the IMF. You made the right choice. Sir? 
It's got stunning eyes, I must say. Uh, well, that was part of the process of hiring. Good yeah. evening, Mr. Hunt. It's been a long time. Yeah, here's our guy uh, again. Got an old recorder. Aren't the sum of our choices? Thirty years ago, you were offered the choice: join the IMF or spend your life in prison. Oh, that's his that Days photo. of Thunder picture. <laughs> <laughs> but we will never forget, just as you will never forget the death. That brought you to us all those years ago. This is to remind you of your oath and allegiance to us. The stakes of this mission are higher than ever. So he was never. Your habitual though. rogue behavior will not be tolerated. Should you choose to accept, it is imperative that you listen. Your government is searching for a key. What should concern you is the involvement of your friend Ilsa Faust. Oh. Else is back. Million. She killed a courier in Istanbul, and we believe he was carrying one half of the key. Your government has put a price on her head, and these bounty hunters are out to collect it. We believe they're headed for the Arabian Desert's empty quarter in search of your friend. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to acquire the key and deliver it to us. If any members of your team are caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Classic. Exactly five. Oh, oh the nice. smoke. God, I'm liking oh, the first. Got the, got the horse laying down, too. Not often you see horses laying down in movies. No. Like well, that, when, you know? when Tom asks you to and pets your head. <laughs> He got all the carrots and apples he wanted. Well, I'm sure they're not going to treat the horses like the Walking Dead does. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They'd all be gone. One would hope not. <laughs> oh, they showed she's, her uh, dozing off for a reason. Yeah. Uh, she, she's armed up, isn't she? Yep. Oh, somebody's signaling uh, her. That's Ethan. Oh, the uh, dreaded sandstorm. Oh. It's not his uh, first run in with a sandstorm, is it? Nope. Oh. Oh, what is this setup now? It looks awfully quiet. Anybody who's actually into long range shooting or sniping, I'm wondering what the uh, the eye patch versus closing one eye is about. Gosh, she is on the money, isn't she? Man, they are nailing the sound design because that that shot is faded. Yeah. Saw Arnold do that a time or two. Ah, come on, AKs don't jam. <laughs> oh, I was oh, worried the way he was laying there. Ethan. No way. No. That's a fake out. No way. So what are we dealing with? No. No has multiple personalities at times behaving like a computer virus distorting any and all digital hey, information hey, hey, hey. which it comes in contact once infected nothing recorded Warlock. stored or transmitted digitally can be trusted as fact and suited our purposes until six months ago when the entity breached saudi arabia's general intelligence directorate and assimilated their top secret active learning ai before vanishing into the cloud so hey, Harry, hey. Uh, wesley Spreading exponentially. You're telling me this thing has a mind of its own? It's AI, self baby. It's become <laughs> self-aware. <laughs> what is this, Skynet mm. over here or what? <laughs> and we're not alone. It has penetrated the world. Russia, India, Israel, Australasia, all of Europe. And what did it do to all of these systems exactly? Take Nothing. Over. Nothing? Whatever its ultimate goal is, we're powerless to stop it. The entire intelligence community is racing to archive hard copies of our oh, fact-positive knowledge old school. Bases before our most secure data centers are breached and corrupted. Servers require humans to maintain them. And humans are the weakest link in any security chain. Harvesting our deepest personal secrets. This guy looks like he's AI. He looks like a robot. Yeah. He's wearing a mask. Someone's wearing a mask. Uh, it's got to be yeah, something. Okay most awesome goddamn intelligence and tactical apparatus on the planet has no way of killing this thing. You don't want to kill it, sir. 
We want to control it, Mr. Kittredge. Kittredge! Yeah, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. He was the voice on the recorder. That's what I was saying. Russians seem to believe that it somehow has the power to deactivate our mysterious entity. They hope to control it. What matters is that the rest of the world believes it. Not even our closest allies have willingly whispered one word of it to us. Every nation in it for themselves. Not to kill this thing, but to weaponize it. How do we find this key first? Well, we know that a buyer is uh, passing somewhere through the Middle East sometime in the next 72 hours. We believe that he already has one half of this key. The only thing that can authenticate one genuine half of the key is the other genuine half of the key. Is is anybody gonna yeah, talk no about one this guy? The guy that walked in. <laughs> well, clearly these shots are very deliberate to yeah. make us. Ilsa Faust. Where is she now? She's uh, dead, sir. No way. Mm. Could have her half of the key. Mm, not just anyone. I sent a man to find her. The only man that she would have entrusted with her half of the key. Oh, does he have it, Kittredge? Refused to come in. Refused. Mm. Oh, Angela was sat right there in the yeah. back. <laughs> what exactly is it I'm not supposed to know about? IMF. Ours. What does it stand for? Impossible mission force. The National Security Director doesn't know about yeah. this? Mr. Kittredge. The IMF operates outside the community and answers directly to the president. Oh, key? here we go. Something's going to happen. It has to be a mask or something. I don't know. What the hell kind of outfit? What's that it's guy doing? I think it's Tommy, and that's a Very mask, nice. isn't it? Yep. Ha ha! They cannot ensure a mission's ultimate outcome. Wow, look at that oh, stuff. Right in her face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm telling you, that's Tom. That's got to be, yeah. Uh... That's why it looked so weird, and he kept his eyes not from blinking, too. I thought it was maybe someone busting in with contacts because yeah. they've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't uh, fool me, Tom. <laughs> I was wrong. I thought it was some AI person. You're upset. I'm not upset, Kittredge. This is me listening. I put the bounty on Ilsa's head. I also told you how to find her. And I didn't ask her to steal the key. She did that for reasons of her own. But you get her out of trouble, and she always found her way back in. You know, That's right. You show us she's officially gone. Yep, That's what, I, yes. I knew it. Yes. It's me. She's got the key right yeah. there. I like what they did with her. Have the sun or the sand like burn. Mm -hmm. Every attention to detail. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be needing that. Oh, nice. They put everyone else. Yeah. In. There we go. And there's locations. Oh, there we yeah, go. With the, the hair. Be... You're dead. You stay dead. Keep it away. I'm not going to apologize to you, Hunt. Did you accomplish your mission or not? Whatever the completed key unlocks, I will find it. I mean to kill it. Going to be a war for the last of our dwindling energy, drinkable water, breathable air. Whoever controls the entity controls the truth. Stay out of my way. <laughs> I can't do that. The world's gonna be coming after you. And one way or another, this mission of yours is gonna cost you dearly. Two foreshadows. If I don't get that, we're gonna have company real soon. Director Denlinger, please. Director's unavailable at the moment. How can I help you? To whom am I speaking? Dr. Eugene Kittredge. We have a situation. No kidding. Able to speak freely. If you're in any danger, uh. simply hang up the phone before I count to five. One. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was nice. Just how do you plan on getting out of here? As him. Yep, as <laughs> Kittredge. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, nice. nice. I was wondering yeah. when they were going to get to it in the intro. Hype, baby. Yeah. I, you know, I, I almost don't want to watch this because I don't want any spoilers at all. I almost don't want to watch the intro where they show scenes, you know? Well, then look away. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to oh, look Haley over Adam there. Oh, Haley so, uh, I can't resist. No, okay, I'm going to look away. Nice. I'll just go with no oh, oh, the oh, uh, the Guardians. Cliff, oh, okay. The cliff jump no, tease. Now, look. I have stayed away from every spoiler yes. I could. Yeah, we have but... not seen this movie, but you would have to be living under a complete rock to have to not, not seen, have that seen one. 
the motorcycle clip yeah. jump stuff. All right, here we go. Fresh eyes. Anything in this man's possession is of vital importance. The man himself is expendable. Do not consider him secure unless you have driven a wooden stake through his open heart. <laughs> 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 um, Self-aware. Yeah! Self-learning. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. And the two halves of this key <laughs> just might provide Luther. the means of controlling this. Every government on the planet would kill us just to get that key. Meaning this very conversation is technically an act of treason. Or as we like to call it, Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Buyer's coming in on flight 746 from Amsterdam. He is hoping to purchase that half of the key. So how do we identify the buyer? This Geiger counter will detect a radiological signature of the dragon's egg embedded in the buyer's key. The augmented reality overlay in these glasses. Oh, that's very clever. <laughs> so, you ID the buyer, pick his pockets, Bob's your uncle. No. No. <laughs> of course not. You're going to sell the buyer our half of the key. While we figure out the buyer's connected oh, flight course, and book yeah. you a seat on that plane. Mm. Finding the completed key it's only the beginning. It's at the bottom of the ocean, isn't it? <laughs> Technically. Our, uh, yeah, it was, Arctic sea cap. Yeah, it was hanging out on the ice there. But it is personal. This dude, he was in Maverick 2. Oh. Oh, they're yep, scanning searching. for him everywhere. There's our big... Oh, there's yeah. Yeah. Oh. What's that? What? Security alert. Suspicious bag on its way to Venice. Snapshot, Overwatch, I have him. Tell me where he is. Where is he? Blue suit, right in front of you. Is this gonna be a swerve like the other movies? Oh, my kid got so far. Fuck this, I didn't call your needle. No, I'm not gonna say fuck this. Break his nose. He's trying to oh, pull oh, his oh. face off. <laughs> hey, call your honey. It's not him. Uh, Facial comes back with a perfect. They're hacked in. Just like your filters on your phone. Fantastic. Yep. Beautiful. Match. Love it. Zero percent. Yeah. That's him right there. There he is. I got him. They're headed to Terminal E. That side of the airport is all yours. The buyer is Otto von Bork, Swiss national. <laughs> Stone Otto Cold? Von Bork. What is he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be a Tom Ford suit he's wearing, don't you think? Got to be. Ethan, what just oh. happened? Oh. He was bumped. That woman picked his pocket. Tiger, tell me who she is. What is it? That bag was on its way to flight 1031. What bag? There was a suspicious bag alert a few minutes ago. So what about it? It was on its way to flight 1031. It's the buyer's plane. And what if that's what the entity wants us to think, to keep Ethan off that plane? You hear me? Find that bag. I'll direct you. Go. Whoa. Agent Carter. She's a thief. Heading towards the northwest corner of the facility. Copy that. Oh, it's right there. Hi. <laughs> I'm not interested. I'll scream. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> this key. The one you pick from that man's pocket. It's worthless without this key. Wow. Oh, <laughs> They're bringing oh. back one. But together. Yep. <laughs> there was four million in cryptocurrency that man was carrying on a flash drive. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. And why was this drive in your pocket? You working with someone? Never. I'm strictly single. Made the man you stole this from to complete a transaction, leave this airport with both of these without ever knowing his pocket was picked or before he boards his flight in seven minutes. Oh, seven minutes. So they got to see where it's going. Your choice. If you choose to you're accept in, it. Or you're out. <laughs> so what's the play? know what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> i won't be needing this keep it something to remember me by look at these two oh. just going back and forth the alloy in that key she took off the buyer doesn't match it's counterfeit the buyer has to leave with both keys talk to me loser that's him right in front of you okay okay hey, hey sorry sorry thought you were somebody else <laughs> <laughs> not let him touch him this time no Two man teams spread out. Ethan, our American friends are getting wise. You should know we're not the only interested party. If I tell you to run, you run. Benji, have you got that bag? I'll find it. I'll find it. There's a cylindrical device inside. 
How we doing, Luther? Ethan, the buyer's <laughs> in the waiting area above you, top of the escalator. No, oh, there's, there's our guy. I've just activated it. Also, it appears to be nuclear. How big? Big enough to matter to everybody in this airport, I suspect. Just random suitcases. Yeah. Oh, that person's going to be pissed when they don't get <laughs> yeah, the bag. <laughs> He's got a I got nail it. clippers and a uh, tweezers. 14 letters on each wheel. 1.5 billion possible combinations. <laughs> okay. The, the wheels, they spell out a message. You are done. No way. D-U-N-N. -N. They knew Benji was going to get it. It knows who I am. Hold on, there's a message on the display. Oh, riddles. I speak without a mouth. I fly through the air without wings. An, an echo. That's it, that's right. it, that's it, that's it. Are you afraid of death? It's a psychometric test. Are you afraid of death? Yes! Who isn't? There's Palm. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, what, what's always approaching but never arrives? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, well, arrives pretty much all the time unless you No, but it, it's always tomorrow. Sorry to bother you, Ethan. Would you happen to know what's <laughs> always approaching <laughs> but never arrives? What is always approaching but never arrives? Oh, tomorrow. Ah! Suck it, Diamond Dave. <laughs> Come on, oh, give me aren't some. you just give fancy. I was less right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's right. I gotta get one of these. All right, now this is a competition. <laughs> so what is happening? Uh, nothing to worry about. Every, everything is under control. Who or what is the most important thing to you? My friends. Oh, oh he's, he's done. He's yeah. What gets bigger the more you take away? A hole. A hole, brilliant. Ethan doesn't have eyes because he, uh, Bing is too busy uh, <laughs> doing riddles. Yeah, helping with the BOM. Those are pinned down. Need a way out of here. Going. It's a bomb and baggage handling. A nuclear bomb. The question I asked you is part of the code for disarm. Stop, 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 stop. Why didn't you tell me this? Well, you had a lot going on. We didn't want to bother you. A nuclear bomb is something you bother <laughs> me with immediately. How much time? 20 seconds. <laughs> Just get all this now. <laughs> Why do we always end up in these situations? Oh, 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 oh. Good luck. Got it. Oh, there's there's nothing, nothing in there. In there. It's empty. Nothing inside. Oh, and she left and he and got lifted. And she has nothing. Or he has nothing. Lose her finder. Was that her plan with that? Well, she, no, yeah. I don't think so. Lose her, Benji. Abort. Abort. Get out. Where do we rendezvous? No, we don't. This mission is terminated. Get out now. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, look at her. She is like thrilled with all this. Mm -hmm. What a rush. The AI knows Tom and it's trying to try to get to him. Okay, time to pull oh. the old... Uh, Run and catch the airplane on the runway. <laughs> Something. Maybe it's like a 28 mile yeah. runway, like in fast. 26. Oh, sorry, 26, 26 mile runway. Thank you. Figured you should know that. Yeah, but. I should. I should get my facts straight on that runway. They don't know where to look. Not yet. Until, until they until they look up. Until they, they look uh, up. I wonder if they're gonna see him like sh shooting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Mama. There we go. There's our running. Yeah. Look at Jeez. that. Shot. Oh. It's a fully analog offline safe room shielded from our digitally based entity. <laughs> These guys make fun of me for having DVDs. You think they're all set on channel three or four? <laughs> Should be. Gave them to the National Weather Service 20 years ago. This is the last one still functioning. Will this thing help us find your nameless IMF man? Nothing can do that, sir. But it has allowed us to keep tabs on this woman. Where is she now? In this film, oh. Kittredge is nonstop putting over Ethan. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, what a franchise for Carrie always just to stumble into, huh? This one is wanted for a fraud in St. Petersburg, resisting arrest in Rio. Which one of these women is you? I've never seen these before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> in your picture, 
is in there, Bruguan. May I see? Paperclip. Yep. And she's going to yes, take that. Yes, it's an amazing likeness. <laughs> It's an amazing likeness. Like As I keep telling you, I'm a... Oh. Yep. See, si. her lawyer is here. And it's Hello. Ethan Hunt. Better call Saul. Dude, love this. She because looks now different. We got she looks different. Four different green. things going on. We got that Palm. We got these guys. We got Tom trying to do like three different things. Yep. We got her. God. This movie's going to fly by. And him. Oh, <laughs> our ghost. Come regarding the arrest of the woman from Abu Dhabi. May I see some identification, please? What was her name? She left Abu Dhabi with a certain key, the kind that you'd be tempted to hang on a chain around Amelia's neck, your wife. I know this wouldn't be the first time you've helped yourself to stolen goods. Who are you? Oh! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, the firm? You did this. I called the police. You put Bakhtar Daki on another passenger before you were arrested. Mm -hmm. You exchanged details and arranged to meet later on. Ah. Right now, someone out there hasn't the slightest clue they're holding onto that key for you. A man waiting his whole life to be noticed by a woman like you. Growing up in poverty left you longing for the finer things. Some saw your potential and helped you hone your skills. Skills that kept you one step ahead of the law until now. You get me out of here, and I'll take you straight to the key. I have a better idea. You're going to tell me everything. Then I'll think about getting you out of here. I have no idea who hired me. Contact with the client was almost entirely electronic. Email? Texts. Encrypted? Naturally. Almost. Kittredge. You said contact with the client was almost entirely electronic. What was in the envelope? A ticket to Abu Dhabi. A picture of you. The only hope I have of getting paid is to deliver your half of the key. You expecting someone? Your friends from the airport. You could have said something, sir. <laughs> well, they were chasing you. <laughs> she got you again, yeah. Ethan. What? Why would you take that? <laughs> Out of everything that you could do. Oh. <laughs> Just immediately. We already know what uh, our boy is going to take. Yep. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a cool shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so different from the other movies. <laughs> He's just going to follow the carnage. Yeah. Grace, pull over. Listen, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, that's interesting. That was nice. That. I like that buzzing that they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the old ghosty man. <laughs> Starting defense. Well, give me your hand. So, uh. put the bracelets on. There you go. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Well, oh, Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> what are you? I was just going to say, like. <laughs> ah, getting away that time. Go, 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 go. Hit the accelerator. Go, 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 go. <laughs> hey, oh, <there's> <laughs> oh, Kinda need those. <laughs> you aren't chasing a BMW You're... in that thing. No way. But it sure looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks like an armored up H2, doesn't it? Oh, oh. this. Oh. I saw this in John Wick, where they had yeah. that big, like... Uh, That's right. <laughs> oh, 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 the scooters. Wait, wait, wait. What? What's happening? I'm done. You're driving. Now, come on. This is easy. It's like me driving to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's, that's our guy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> God, this movie is... Oh, it's an alpha they're in. Gotta get rid of this car. 
<laughs> Sooner to stab it. <laughs> the amount of damage to scooters in this. Finding us a new car. Wow. That's that. awesome. Safe car. Oh, what a oh, selection. No, nope. It's going to be there. Yeah, it's going to be Fiat. Air straight, up, on. straight up bond car here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her looking at him. Just give me a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm I'm sorry. This is, this is no, this car, the way they it's okay. no, the way they set them up, sometimes it's just <laughs> takes me <laughs> it's electric <laughs> it's great oh man oh oh all right all part of the plan <laughs> exactly where fast, fast was fast was yeah those same steps move, 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 move. it's electric that's brilliant that it's electric. You don't have to worry about the, uh... What? <laughs> Dave said that like five minutes ago. Oh, yeah. I, guys, I'm so <laughs> hyper-focused right now. But it, you wouldn't have the engine problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just like laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh, they'll be okay. They'll land on its wheels. That was cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta go. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> She's like, what is going on? Oh, it's the Coliseum in the background. Yeah. <gasps> oh, what's the plan now? Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> he finally gets it. <laughs> Hit it. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're on some oh, tracks. Oh, subway? <laughs> Forget it. Oh, oh, she had the paper clip. Don't hate me. And something's coming. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cool. You guys ever put your ears on the railroad tracks? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Hey. That was All that right. Was close. That was kind of cheap, but I get it. <laughs> like they, and what I mean by that is they didn't show it. Right. He just was there. They cut away and then, oh, here's Tom flying out of a car. Yeah. He doesn't know how to hide <laughs> the wheel properly. Oh, hey, hey, hey! There's a surprise we didn't see coming. I he told her to stay. stay. Gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stay dead. <laughs> now can we take our five minute break? <laughs> okay, they're on the boat. I think maybe we'll get like two minutes here of, of no action. <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna take a fiver <laughs> just to catch our breath. Oh, that is great writing, though. Like we just had this whole huge section. Now we're gonna bring the everyone down. Yep. Give a montage. Walk into their new headquarters, maybe here. And now we have a pretty good idea as to who is gonna be waiting for her there, Alana Mitzvah. Hey. The white widow. Does she still think you're the globally notorious mass murderer, John Locke? Who says I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> We still don't know what it unlocks, so we need to find somebody who does. This is everything I captured from the security cameras at the airport. I've been running facial recognition on everyone in the airport. See anything strange? There he is, a ghost. So it's a ghost. The only person in the airport with no identity. He's being erased in real time. The entity. You saw him, didn't you? Died a long time ago. In another life, before I was... Offered the choice. He made me who I am today. He calls himself Gabriel. He has no recorded past. The entity made sure of that. The entity's chosen messenger. I still have a few friends left in MI6. 
Friends who are afraid of the British government gaining control. Any attempt to try and stop them would be seen as an act of treason. They knew he was on his way to Istanbul to acquire one half of a cruciform key. I beat him to it. And when Kittredge put a bounty on your head... And my six suspects it leads somehow to the entity's source code. Did you speak with them face to face? I'm disavowed. Oh, then it might not be real. It could be the entity. We can't be sure that was the entity. We can't be sure it wasn't. None of you should be here. Ethan. No, you don't know Gabriel. I do. And he knows the best way to get to me is through all of you. There's a reason he wants me here. There's... And what if it wants you alone at that party tonight? Then I go alone. At least I don't have all of you to worry about. This is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. Ethan, you're playing four-dimensional chess with an algorithm. Mm. The entity knows who we are. You have to start thinking like it. Gabriel cannot have that key. And none of our lives can matter more than this mission. I don't accept that. Does not accept. It's my first time in Venice. It's mine too. God, they're really doing uh, a good job of setting it up that somebody's not coming out of this. Yeah, somebody ain't gonna make it. Is this John Wick inspired a little bit? Seems like it. Nice he, lull for a while, and yeah. then boom, right back right in back there, like, it. with mm -hmm. the music oh, and Mark the visuals. Back. I'm waiting for Triple uh, X to show up in the background here. Somewhere. That was literally them just giving us a breather, and now it's... Yep, here he is. I'm Gabriel. If you say so. And your grace. Oh, and there mm. she is. Yep. What do you want? Suppose while we're waiting... I tell you a little story. Oh, you're obviously not the person I came here to meet. It's your story, Grace. I know how it ends. Ah. Uh, the White Widow's brother. Yep. 30 years ago, her name was Marie. What happened to Marie? He doesn't care whether people live or die. He cares only about his objective. Why should I believe you? You shouldn't. Grace. Mm. No! It's been a long time, Ethan. You should have killed me when you had the chance. If it isn't John Lark. <laughs> <laughs> Except it isn't, actually. But until you're ready to tell me your real name, Lark, we'll have to do. You hired me. Oh, I have picked you. Well, I was wrong. I thought it was Kittredge all the time. Oh. Nice. Where is it? It's in the last place you would ever think to look. <laughs> Try not to give it away. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> that was for us. And the key to world domination is, of all things, a key. Whoever you give the key to will be forever in your debt. But to the rest of the world, you will be an enemy. Gabriel represents another interested party. You could even say that this party is that interested party. Is that uh, the AI in the back? The Look at that. Brown light yep. looks like it just, is just like what they showed before. What makes you so sure you'll get the completed key? You have one half of it, and she knows where the other half is. Why don't you just keep the key and all that power for yourself? Because she doesn't know what it unlocks. And what's he offering for the key? As I've explained to Grace before, I'm not here for any key. You've no idea the power I represent. The future is all but assured. The key will come to me. Tomorrow. It knows that you've already chosen your suitor. I, however, have been promised the completed key. It'll lay itself at my feet, provided someone dies. Tonight. Her. Or her. Mm. And you Absolutely will Absolutely not. Season. You see what this is? He's afraid. Somehow it knows we're close. Help me complete the key, and I will kill this thing. Help him, and you'll die too. Help him. Everyone dies. I'm sorry. Talk. For old time's sake, I'll let you choose which one. No. <laughs> oh. If anything happens to either of them, there's no place that I won't go to kill you. That is written. Jonathan. I'll be seeing you. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Quit trying to cheat over there, looking at my notes. Can't be taking notes like it's a seventh grade study. <laughs> I have to be on that train tomorrow, and I have to have that key. I just forgot you can. Nice. Oh, oh God. That's the, the knockout uh, stick. Oh, oh here it she's going to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> She just took she it. Already got it. She doesn't trust anyone. She wants the money for herself. Think about it. I, but she has to know get any money. The money's worthless. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like she's shoving a, a walker she into Rick Grimes. <laughs> oh, hip toss. PK. I will say this is giving me slight. Bond vibes in uh, No Time to Die. Mm. Damn it! Hacking Russian Zenith 4 spy satellite. We're scraping the barrel, but it'll have to do. <laughs> scraping the barrel. It's got to be analog. You can't, guys can't use digital. Everything's got to be old school. Well, right now, they don't have the hooked yeah, into they everything. They don't know that. Uh, well, they know that. But, yeah, they know it. Tom should know it because he saw it there. He referred to it as his god. Here we go. But they said it was a running satellite. I wonder if that was the attention. Yep, the old It'll Russian satellite. Yep. Ethan, take the passage to your right. See, I see it. Down the narrow alley and turn left. Okay, copy that. <gasps> oh, see, it hacked it. Oh, now no. It's, now it's not Benji. Ethan, our comms have been breached. You're talking to the entity. Ethan, that is not me. Oh, you no. Know I mean? Ethan, come in. Try to reestablish comms. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna try and find Ethan. I see Brex about 800 meters in front of you. Take that oh my god. Oh, it's leading Gosh. right into a cell, probably. All right, so we see the pattern that's happening here. They can't, after this, go digital anymore. Yep, they can't use any other attack. Wait, left or right? It doesn't matter. She's on her way to the Minich Bridge, where Gabriel is waiting. You will never get there in time. Oh, oh. no. Ilsa. This is a Pulled Ethan away. No, yep. it's not. Well, the mercenaries. So be it. Oh, I don't like those spikes on the top. No, dude, they do not look. Look at this tiny space yeah. that they are working in. He's just toying with her. There Ooh. we go. Jeez. <laughs> Wailing on her on that wall. Shout out to the stunt men and women who film this, man. They're Idea. taking some oh, hits. How much is persons whose concept this was? What if they had a fight in like a really tiny alleyway? Yeah. Because we haven't seen this before. Have no, it's oh. like, it's a well, fight not that a, I can recall. Yeah, it's like a fight in a phone booth. Oh! oh speaking of done for. That's, that's got to be it. You don't get up from that. Warning. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, I'm real curious to why they're not showing any blood. In this. Well, they usually don't in the Mission Impossible movies, for what it's it, worth. You know what? Now that you bring it up, that's very curious. Tom isn't bleeding at all. Nobody he was fighting was bleeding. Oh, come on. Are well, we not? I don't just, like this buildup. This is like gonna, a Sayonara buildup. There's going to be some blood here, maybe. Oh, Tom's going to get there just Damn at the last yep. moment to because see he's Ilsa. he's got to witness it. Yep. Yep. Just like oh, before. Come on. Oh, oh. oh. I hope I'm really wrong here. No, I think that's what they're going for here. He's going to come at the last minute. Oh, that's her move. Oh, oh it didn't work, though. Oh, this music is building up. Oh, yep. oh that's it. That's, that's it. Oh, no. And Grace is gone. <sighs> just, and it's gone. and it's just like mm. he, Gabriel said to her every woman that gets involved with Ethan ends up getting taken out and there's Benji well the crazy thing is now think about every Mission Impossible movie how integral the, the comms were to everything mm -hmm. they do comms and tech Benji yep it's and, everything and, yeah and Victor's thing and now it's can't use it. Maybe they'll have to dig up the tech from the first movie. 
even though that was still kind of digital, I suppose. We're going to get Emilio back? <laughs> I don't no, think so. no, he's still stuck in that elevator shaft. <laughs> Jesus, the answer. I'm sorry. And her? Ilsa. I'm the reason she's dead. No, she's the reason you're alive. If there's anything I can do to help. That's what we'd like to talk to you about. The White Widow was expected to be on the Orient Express. But she doesn't have the complete key. That widow doesn't. But ours could. Oh, she's going to be, become the widow. Yep. You're in a lot of trouble. A number of fake passports is going to get you out of this one. Your future boils down to three options now. Prison, death, or the choice. The choice. Hmm. At one time or another, each of us was in a similar situation to yours. And each of us was offered the choice. The same choice we're offering you now. To come with us. Yeah, so you got three hours yeah. to decide, you know. I Well, one and two aren't very appealing. <laughs> no, no, not really. The evolution of the mask. <laughs> it, it, really, it's to say it really should have had a ding. How does it make the hair, though? What don't worry do about really it. Want to know? The yeah, don't question it, Dave. Just accept it. I, <laughs> it's, like, it's like his supernatural know. stuff. <laughs> Look, they, sh they gave us, you know, one earlier... Oh, here it is. This yep. is my favorite part. It's the switch. My favorite part. Look at that transition. Ugh. Smooth. Oh, I love uh, it. That ne it never gets old. Do you nope. see how they intentionally kept the brown eyes? Yep. I like yeah. that. They didn't miss that they didn't detail. Switch it yet. Never gets old. It literally never gets old. I'm assuming that that's uh, Tom right there. Yeah, yep. there yep. they are. Oh, they kept the brown oh. eyes. Oh, oh, big mistake. Stop. That was just the plan. Oh, okay, okay. Was okay. that was the walkthrough. And what happens to me? You'll be taken into custody by clandestine services. Shortly thereafter, a man will come to see you. His name is Eugene Kittridge. You tell him I sent you, that I gave you the choice, and that you choose to accept. Trust him to recognize your value. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say no. But if I stay, I'll be safe. No, I can't promise you that. But I swear, your life will always matter more to me than my own. You a little teary-eyed there? Mm -hmm. oh, that's glazing. Me. What difference does that make? I packed you a base parachute in a speed. Oh, what is this? We're, we're, we're getting to it. This is the drive from the laptop I was using last night. If there's even a trace of the entity's encoding in there, I'll find it. I have to work completely offline in a place where the entity can't find yep. me. What's your objective? Kill the entity. What about killing Gabriel? We need him alive. I haven't forgotten that. Why else would the entity want him to kill someone you care about? <gasps> yep. Everyone else thinks they can control the entity. Uh, yep. Only you want to kill it. In some probable future, it sees you winning, Ethan. It's afraid of you taking Gabriel alive and forcing him to tell you what the key unlocks. Humans are the greatest weakness. Remember, mm -hmm. they said that. Yep. <clears throat> it feels a little matrixy, if that's a word. Get the key. Get off the train. Alive. Do not kill Gabriel. Do not alter the plan. Ethan! Oh. I mean, it's fried. I managed to make a, a widow mask with Grace, but then it just shorted out in the middle of making yours. The entity. Oh. What a shock. Grace has to go without me. She what? I what? You, you're, you'll find another way. You just do everything like we planned. You get the widow's half of the key. We still have to meet with the buyer and somehow get him to tell us what the key unlocks. How? It's how? We'll figure it out. I'm going to need a few <laughs> more details. <laughs> they, they, they tend to just get in the way. <laughs> Just get the key and wait. Promise me you'll be on that train. No matter what. No. Oh, uh, man, the Austrian Alps. The tone in this movie is a lot more serious than the others. It's been like very little comedy. <laughs> <laughs> the clank of a fire extinguisher. There's the entity giving oh, them wow. information. It should be slowing down for the curve in exactly two minutes. Uh, uh, I don't think they were anticipating speed, were they? Uh. 
Oh, oh hit me with a shovel. I'm Ooh. sure if you would have asked him to jump off the train, they would have. What a dick. Okay, that's our train. I can see that. It doesn't look like it's slowing down. <laughs> These guys. What if he had a good reason for going rogue? He always goes rogue. And what if they always had a good reason? You know, I'm beginning to wonder whose side you're on, they got. When it comes to the end of the world, uh, everybody, I guess. Uh, they're, they're setting us setting up. up. They're setting us up. This guy's going to help. Yep. Mm -hmm. I missed the train. How did you miss the train? How do you think? There's the brown oh, eyes. I, I thought that was Grace. The way she was all nervous. There we go. She was hiding in the closet. Yeah. Oh, they forgot the eyes, though. Mm, no contacts. Yeah. Alana. Alana. Better get out of there. Alana. We tried. <laughs> and you never will. Didn't notice the eyes. Uh, yeah, he did pay attention to the eyes, surprisingly. Yeah. Well, he was probably looking at her outfit. Like, what are you Which doing changing clothes? Which is why they clothes? put that line in, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Show it. Yes. Threw the brother and him off. Mm. Oh no. You just uh, just stay on the trailer on now and I will direct you. I can't. <laughs> oh man. What a shot. <sighs> I've had a slight problem. It's just my terms have changed. Clearly, I need to remind you of my agreement with your late mother. It's an agreement that kept her from dying in prison. Your nefarious mm. family empire has been allowed to continue on the condition that it primarily serves our common interests. Leaving room for a prequel. Zola, would you mind waiting for me in the bar? <clears throat> this one. Well, I did a she did a job <laughs> for me, and <clears throat> and I'm going to need you to protect her from everyone, including me. The next time we meet. I won't even remember this conversation. Oh, this throws the kink in things. To, oh. Well, not yet. Oh, shit. Jesus, who's uh. not on this train? He's meeting with the director of the CIA, NSA, excuse me. I said the key would be on this train. You may think you know what the key unlocks, but you don't know where the lock is, not exactly. And if anything happens to me, that key is all but worthless. The AI our agents stole, once weaponized, could be transmitted anywhere in the world via satellite. A perfect covert operative. The AI's objective lay in the submarine sonosphere. The AI went rogue and, uh... The two halves of the key mysteriously vanished. I know precisely where it is. I also know subsequent attempts to make the AI obedient. It rebelled, rewrote itself. <laughs> Both know the secret to controlling the entity is buried deep in the Sebastopol's memory. You wish to form an access with the entity, purge your government of old think, and create a new super state. A wrong think. To rule the world. You are correct, sir. <laughs> Oh! Oh, I didn't want to oh. lose Carrie. Oh. I mean, granted, he was like, hell, oh, there's your blood. <laughs> you will betray us because he spared your life. Oh! Whoa. Ain't no way Gabriel takes down the Terminator. Oh! oh. It's in the that, oblique. That's the oblique I shot. Oblique. Smoked a little in. All you need to do is enter your banking. Oh uh, well, funny you mention that. Well, you know, I a, don't usually handle this sort of thing, a, dude. She can't. No, it's a small credit union in uh, New York. <laughs> <laughs> we done. Is wow. he gonna stop the? Transfer of money. I'm thinking the well, he I, can. I he think can the, stop right there. It's only at 14. Yeah. I think the brother's going to do something. Yeah, I don't like how they have him positioned. Yep. Boom. Benzie, I think I, I must have made a wrong turn somewhere. No, no, that's it. That's it. What? How can this <laughs> be it? 
You can see the train, right? <laughs> Benji doesn't work like that. I'm not that high. There's there's ledges sticking out everywhere. I'm gonna hit them before the parachute even opens. Benji, even if I could get the parachute open, I don't know if I can make it across the valley and intercept and land safely on a moving train. <laughs> Do you copy? Yes! I'm copy! Look, I'm just trying to help you, okay? I need you to take a step back and pull yourself together because I am under a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit of levity. Look behind you. That's why they panned it ever so slightly to, yep. the, to our right. <laughs> there it is. I uh, look over. I, I can't. Your left I shoulder. I can't believe we actually get to see this. And knowing that he did this, yeah, multiple times. I cannot. I can't. I. I can't, guys. I, I can't. Well, she's that. in a bathroom. <laughs> Now, I've only seen the trailer, so I only know that much. Don't be oh. ruining too okay. much here, Dave. We'll all just huh? sit back and enjoy this one. Boy, that doesn't look that smooth. <laughs> oh, that... <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> no. Pass. And I want to skydive. <sighs> <laughs> oh, this, oh, the, the, the shots. Silence. The silence is killing me. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, look at this shot! What? Get out of here. What a shot! Oh my gosh, guys. All that for three seconds here, three seconds there. Oh, oh. that was genius. That was incredible. I can't believe it went through. No way. Well, is it going to get accepted, though? Better hit that accept button. She's declining it. She can't do it because now she thought about it. Yep. I just had the strangest feeling. The key wasn't the only thing I'd be selling. Goodbye, Mr. Kittredge. Yep. Keep him safe until we get to the station. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's stumbling out. Where is the key? She's got the key. Nice. I love those transitions. They're flawless. Yep, she still got the voice uh, thing on. Yep. Okay. Everybody out. Yeah. Now. Okay. I see the train. On the table. Um. Tom's coming through the window. It's right? Be. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yes! Knew it! Always I, delivers. I did not like the long, drawn-out pull, but that was great. <laughs> <laughs> that parachute's going to pull him. He's got to get that thing off. Ethan! Talk about uh, luck. There you go. Are you okay? <laughs> key. The key. The key. The key. The key. Be time for this later. Yeah, you catch up later. Come on. She, you got a mission got, to do. Kittredge is on board. Kittredge is on board. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Gabriel. Of course. Do you see he touched his watch right as it went under that thing? Like yeah. he knew exactly yep. when they were going to be there. No. <laughs> 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 Unless you want to be sorting dead letters at the Postal Service tomorrow, you'll do exactly what I tell you. Oh, you uh, see that? Yep, look? he's not. He's going to go with, with Ethan. These guys are about to beat. We got two new guys <laughs> yeah. joining the IMF. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about the one guy. He's going to get a no. broken he, nose. If he doesn't he's get thought, a broken nose in this, uh, I'm, that's like his I'm calling done. card. I'm done. Well, I'm... Oh! oh. <laughs> Screw this, man. Look at that. That's no space. Oh, oh watch out for the lights. Yeah. They're not going to be laying down fighting. <laughs> this is crazy. Remember, that's where they thought he went. And the first one, too, was down there. Yep. I was really trusting that knife. God, he's always got two. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> Shoulder <laughs> tackle. We think a fiver, Dave. <laughs> Luther. Plan. Think about what? what? She unlocks Ethan. 
Give him an oblique shot just for good measure. Yeah, just to wound him. That's what the AI thought he would do. The AI thought Ethan would hesitate, right? Oh, don't you oh. do it! I, I don't like that day. That fog. Oh, we got a couple red shirts. I'm getting vibes of that. Just take him. Oh, That's why he move. wanted the steam from the whistle. Oh. oh, okay, something totally different. The speed, they had everything calculated. Yep. Wow. Everyone on this train is gonna die unless you do exactly as I say. Oh, of course. <sighs> Got it loaded with bob bombs. Excusez-moi, but everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Those, Excusez two. <laughs> Those two have been good. It's really the only way to get everyone yeah, moving. Right. <laughs> well, with some urgency. Yeah. Yes. It's in the keys. Right? It's okay. It's my fault. I got it. The fight. Yep, the had to be pop. the fight. Wait. Oh, he doesn't <laughs> see oh, We've all been there. Where's my phone? <laughs> the lighter. Replaced it so that he would feel something in yep. his pocket. Yep. AI didn't calculate yep. that. You got beat. All the way to the back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since you're not really here, sir, it shouldn't concern you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> wink. nice. These guys are on uh, our team now. Yep. Well, you know, they're good. Our team. Yeah. We're all the same, same team. team. Same team. You know. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, we're really? Cut from real three close. minutes down to 20 <laughs> seconds like that? It was probably real time the way they filmed it. Oh, true. Their attention to detail. Gee, Whoa. come on! Jeez. Oh, is that real? I, I was going to say, I didn't look at the background of it, but probably a real train, probably a real crash. Well, that Clayton looked like... <laughs> Sarah Clayton's That's Clayton to be Ravine. That train. <laughs> the old Clayton Ravine. Uh. <laughs> Move with the purpose, yep. please. Time to, time to Do the sprint. Paul Walker run up the RV. Yep. I don't think it's going to stop. Oh, oh, Jesus. Well, let's think about the positive. There can't be a, a part two without Tom. Uh, okay, there's that. Right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it does not stop in this movie. Tom's not even sweating. Oh, I love it. The food. The food slipping on the floor. Every single detail. Yeah. Oh, oh now we got gas. Come on. No way. Just, can we get out of the kitchen car? Oh, oh, what a shot! <laughs> Jeez, uh, uh, come on! It's just, like, well, seriously? Uh, we're gonna go car by car <laughs> by car. Please. <laughs> Please. Oh! No bottom. No bottom. Shot. Holy shit. <laughs> my Don't hands are sweating. Oh. The, the pack is shoulder strength. Oh, 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 oh. No. At least he's got gloves on. Oh. Did not see that coming. Oh, would you really stand on the end and watch it? <laughs> what is that? It's a speed wing. Oh. Ethan. Ethan! Reggie. Je l'entraille. Pourquoi? Tu sais ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que ça ou? C'est vaste. Où à Sebastopol? Sous-marin. A submarine. Charles. Oh, they got the information. Yep. I mean, who dies from an oblique shot? It was in further. Maybe he did the yeah, twist. Yeah, maybe oh, it was like you learned face off. The one time you guys are like, oh, well, the twist did it. Any other time, it's like, I don't know. Hey, you guys. Hang yeah. on. All you guys with the, it's an uh -oh. oblique. Did you see that? They can only carry one. This was the plan. Hunt. Oh, oh okay. no, Hunt. You got a pulse. Got a pulse. Oh. Oh. Stay with me. 
She's, she's got to say the thing like to Kittredge Kittredge. that she's in. Ethan Hunt tells me you're a man I can trust. You would offer me a choice. I choose to accept. Oh. Oh. Grace may believe you've saved her from her fate, but you and I both know you've merely bought her time. But that's the pattern, isn't it? The closer someone gets to you, the harder it is to keep them alive. The key is oh, only the beginning. Still does have it. I was wondering if Grace pickpocketed him one oh. last time. <laughs> Should you fail in your mission, the entity wins, and the world will pay the ultimate price. Should any members of your team be caught or killed, their sacrifice will have been in vain. This movie. <laughs> the world doesn't know it, but they're counting on you. A race to the submarine. Yep. But Ethan... Gabriel knows where the submarine yep. is. Yep. No, Gabriel doesn't know where the submarine Only is. Only Carrie always knew. Only Carrie always knew. Oh! Oh! Bravo! Bravo! Man, everybody involved. Um, Holy cow. Wow, guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I got notes. Have I got notes? Oh. <laughs> Well, Got a little time for it to digest. I took a pile of notes on this one, guys. And first off, just bravo to everyone involved from our star Tom Cruise to I don't care the guy who brought the catering out for everybody. <laughs> everybody in this movie absolutely delivered. What a awesome, awesome, unique story that they wrote. I mean, I'll get to everything first, but I love the story of the creative weapon that was the AI, something that can literally be everywhere and is tied into everything. And it gives you such tension during the movie because everything they use is electronic. We were worried about Benji in the, in the auto driving or self-driving car. We saw how all their tech got hacked. It was leading Ethan the wrong way. And it's just such a brilliant villain in today's world with everything that's going on. The idea that this AI goes rogue and they're trying to harness it or control it uh, quite naively, I think personally. But uh, that was that was just an incredible story everybody delivered you know we talked about the details of everything they did at length the, the fight scenes where tom was you know i always tease answer about it about saving the hands in movies when you're in a fist fight because you're gonna need them later so it's you throw those forearms all the time because you're gonna need to grapple and grab things and articulate things and hide keys with magic tricks i mean yeah, how's he going to do that with broken, <laughs> broken fingers from a fist fight? Dislocated. But there was just so much innovation in this movie in a time where you think you've seen everything. The innovation with, you know, Ethan having the glasses in the airport just to track the key originally off the bat and how that whole airport scene had us like needing to like tap out and take a fiver from everything that happened in there. It was it was just incredible, you know, the glasses, the misdirection. You didn't really know who you could trust. There was a lot of talk about, you know, uh, predetermined outcomes and fate. And uh, the, I don't know if these guys have seen it, so no spoilers, but it gave me a little bit of vibes to some of Tom Cruise's other movies. I think some of you might know. And it also had a little bit of Matrix vibes to it, too, which I, I did enjoy. Um, a little bit of levity here. I want to know what the bill was on Tom Cruise's wardrobe in this movie because man, those suits he had he looked good. I mean, he, he, they had it dialed in, and especially for everybody, I'm sure that was like a six hundred dollar hat that Luther was wearing, I'm sure. <laughs> but the the actors that they have for this franchise, their chemistry has gotten so good that it's just they just deliver every time. It's incredible. Um I'm going to uh, hold off on the rest of my notes here. I think I yapped a little bit. I'll bounce them around here and let the other guys have a chance, and I'll get to these later. He'll read us his essay later. It's only uh, like five. <laughs> yeah, like it, it had a lot of Age of Ultron vibes to me, whereas the, uh, where the AI was sort of taking over and could easily you know, manipulate its way into figuring out every single combination that could be had in in his plans. Because we, well, cause we saw earlier bad guys in the series – I always know Ethan. He always comes from the top. I know Ethan. He always does this. I know Ethan. Well, this doesn't just know Ethan knows everything that Ethan can even think of on the fly because we saw a lot of times that that's where you get the bad guys because it would be his thinking on the fly and then having that long, long play that would end up like getting get this head of the syndicate into the glass case, you know, stuff like that. Uh, for this, too, it was a lot of uh, 
a lot of peaks and valleys, I would say, in this for as far as adrenaline. Because like you had the airport, and then you had the nice little lull before there, yep. where they start doing more story. Then it's back up to like the car chase, which although with the Fiat provided plenty of humor which you know usually these movies never have a short supply of humor they never do but that car chase was, was amazing especially everyone like as soon as i could see the yellow outline when he's like coming up and we all thought the muscle car i'm like nope i see a little yellow car and it's that fiat what perfect to do it it would be like a nice safe car you know nobody would suspect yeah. a yellow fiat and the twist of them being handcuffed yep and like and then even twisting and turning and then all of a sudden she's a driver again even though she didn't want to drive and then he had the valley and then right back up to the train again where he's got to jump off the cliff on the motorcycle which was just amazing that he did that and like now if you've seen or heard about him for skydiving he's done a lot of skydiving so he can probably do this stuff in his sleep kind of but i mean i know they need it to be perfection for this mm -hmm. but yeah what a great adrenaline trip like every time you get that high and you finally think you're gonna come down low you go right back up again but yeah this was a lot of fun and we can't just burn through them now now we have to wait for two. Oh, yeah two. this was i mean this was uh this was movie perfection as far as i'm concerned i mean the action uh speaks for itself i said i don't know how many of them are going to make the cut but i said multiple times about needing a five minute break but i think the last mission impossible um was pretty intense as well i mean i think i spoke uh similar sentiments of the last one um the plot was really really cool um you know, AI right now is in its just infancy yeah. stages, and it can do so much. My my previous job working with um, the Arnold Classic, we were we were all instructed to get used to AI for marketing materials and writing copy and things like that, and just getting uh, very high level on ChatGPT. Um, you see some of the the crazy stuff that it's capable of doing, and of course now take access to you know set up a supercomputer that can do that and scan every document, everything. You know, the one thing like with the AI that I think is interesting, like knowing Ethan's every move, mm -hmm. right? Like what he's going to do. It has to pull digital information from somewhere. It can only use what it has access to, which is also a whole nother thing, whether the information it's using is correct or not. <laughs> it's you, essentially what it's doing is it's computerized. I saw somebody use this quote. It's uh, computerized plagiarism, essentially what it's doing. It's taking all the information that's there, using it, and, and spitting out results. So using all Ian, um, Ethan's previous missions, you wonder if he would have to file reports, right? This is what happened, this is what I did, and whether reports would have to be filed. Because if a report, report wasn't filed on what he did, because all his missions, IMF missions, if a report wasn't filed and uh, that wasn't digitized somewhere, then AI wouldn't be able to track Ethan's moves and know what he's doing again. AI, AI is pulling everything from digital. Granted, it's an algorithm and all that, but in any regard, that's what I found to be very interesting, knowing Ethan and everybody else moves. Um, but the, the, a really interesting plot, and really, I think, ahead of its time, because, right? you know, we've talked about, um, you know, how, how innovative these plots are mm -hmm. and the turns and twists, and so they took something that's very real today that who knows what direction it's going to go. Yes, we've seen movies with art artificial intelligence. You know, I made the Terminator 2 reference. I don't know if it's <laughs> going to make the cut. But this is a really interesting take on artificial intelligence, what it could be used for, who should have it. Um, the uh, the plot, like, it's too powerful for one man to have. That's, that's nothing new. But the thing that I like about these Mission Impossible movies and all of them is that they didn't necessarily need to reinvent the wheel with their plots. Oh, there's going to be nuclear war. There's going to be... Uh, a, a bio weapon. I mean, these are plots that we've seen before in other movies. Mission Impossible just takes those things, puts creative spins on it, and if we're being honest, does it ten times better. Yeah, it feels than, so fresh than, than when anybody do it. else does it. Um, I, I can't say enough. I know I cru man crush on Tom Cruise really hard, and I have for years. I cannot say enough about the passion he puts into filmmaking. Like, if anybody takes their job and just really puts everything they have into it. I don't care what it is. And sometimes I think we don't give actors enough credit because, oh, it's Hollywood. You're getting paid millions to make mm -hmm. movies. You know, Denzel's got a, a famous quote, like, we're acting, this is easy. And granted, like comparatively to, you know, being a mom, being a soldier, being an actor, I get it. But as far as passion going into their craft, 
<laughs> Nobody puts it in more than Tom Cruise. I, I'm just blown away. Um, I don't know if, if it's... I'm sure the jump scene is going to make the cut. So that is the one thing. I stayed away from as many spoilers as I could. Stayed away from everything. The setup for that jump scene was all over the internet. All over. So being uh, as far um, removed from when the movie came out, I think, you know, it's pretty, pretty sheltered. But that jump scene, and I was so blown away even with everything that Tom's done, and we saw him at the end of the one movie, he was hanging outside the airplane, but seeing the over and over takes of him practicing that jump and knowing that he really did it was absolutely incredible. Uh, Mason Quinn said it, the acting from everybody else, look, I don't want to take away from the performance that everybody put on in this movie. Um, Haley Atwell, who I've never seen in anything before, an amazing job at mm -hmm. Grace. Of course. Yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. Well, have you seen Captain America? What yeah. Seen? What is she? She's Peggy Carter. So all you Marvel peeps, that's oh, what we're telling you. Yeah. It's like these we're guys the only seen it once. Fans. Casual fans. Casual. Captain, Captain, Amer <laughs> Captain America, the, the movies or the yeah series? the movies, the movies, the movies, oh, and uh, like you know, see, Endgame. I that's who we went yes, back. I to. It was like 2016 I when she I saw familiar, that. But I'm like, oh god, I don't, I don't know who yeah. she is. In any regard, um, Ving Rhames, Simon Pegg, Rebecca Ferguson, Vanessa Kirby. I mean, just everybody. Uh, S.I. Morales. Um, who played Gabriel? Good what, baddie. What, he Very is good. Baddie. Such a talented. And that's another thing with Mission Impossible. They've done so many amazing casting jobs with the villains. I mean, we're coming up. They always why pick, they have to get rid of. They're always picking somebody ultra ultra handsome. No, <laughs> like we can, like Henry Cavill last movie. Then this guy. They even made a joke about it. Oh, I didn't know you'd be so handsome in person. A phenomenal movie. I, I can't believe how good this was. Yeah, hey, first off, Rebecca Ferguson, thank you for your service. Oh, that we was don't great. want to see you go. Did not want, I, you know, I knew someone was going to go, but yeah. I didn't think it was going to be until. The winner setting it up. Yeah, until uh, part two. Uh, I was kind of hoping it wasn't her. I actually liked her character for, uh, you know, the couple movies that we saw her in. So bravo, Rebecca. Appreciate your work. Uh, you know, seeing Carrie, uh, <laughs> gosh darn it. Oh. Always good to see him. I think he's a great villain, but. Uh, I didn't expect him to go either right away. I, no. Actually, I didn't expect a lot of death in this one. And granted, now there was only a couple. But yeah. still, I wasn't expecting anything yeah, in this. Yeah, we lost three big ones. But, uh, you know, and <laughs> Kittredge, goddamn, good to have him back. <laughs> yeah, no, that I mean, was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. The, well, I, I knew because of the trailer, because I've only seen the trailer once. But his delivery from Mission Impossible 1, mm -hmm. and then here, I mean, obviously it's not going to be the same, you know, kind of yep. get a little older, going to change it up yeah. a little bit, yeah. but he still had some of it, and it was great to see that he kept that uh, that cadence and delivery, so thank you for that, Henry, appreciate that. Shay uh, Wiggingham, <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're great in The Joker, great, and I know these guys were quoting a lot of the Fast and the Furious stuff, oh, yeah. that's that's fantastic, uh, of course. Hey, we, we just saw him in uh, Kong Island, yeah, that too. Kong Island, yep. Um, um, Simon Pegg, always a treat. Of course, Ving, uh, Vanessa, you did great. Palm, great to see her in here. I didn't expect mm -hmm. her to have like such a Terminator role. And actually, yeah. I didn't even know what kind of role she was going to have. But yeah. the small, small redemption arc that she had had me sucked in. I'm like, gosh, now, <laughs> now I want her on the team. And yeah. then, of course, her time is here. And uh, of course, well, no, Gabriel, they said they had a pulse. Remember yeah, she oh, had a pulse. Well, yeah. That's true. She does have a pulse. So good call on that answer. So hopefully, we do get what her on the is, team. What else is she in? Uh, well, she's in Guardians of the Galaxy. She's an uh, alien. Oh, with, yeah, yeah, with the, with the oh, antlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did right. not know that. Huh. Well, yeah, she's not green with... You guys with, uh, are not doing yourselves She's not green with antennas <laughs> in this. Like, Sorry. Like, I, some, so, I'm like, I know, you guys <laughs> only see her... Casual. You guys only see I've her in the makeup, so that's fair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> part of uh, Haley's character at the end there, I don't know if you guys caught that. Of course, when Tom was saying, I told you I'd be here, that kind of thing, I paraphrasing, of course, uh, she started tearing up. Because I believe from that little scene there, she's been always by herself. Yeah. No one oh, ever yeah. there she, for she her. She was Someone an orphan. That's what Tom said. Yep. So, or I mean, even. like, uh, well, outside the orphan stuff, I mean, like, in, like, adulthood where, mm. you know, no relationships, it seems like. Maybe she had a few, but oh, uh, on no, yeah. uh, like, close friends, no nothing. And yeah, then well, Tom showed up every single time after she kept <laughs> him in the back. That's right. So it, it, that was a pivotal moment, I thought, uh, to solidify at the end, of course, with I do accept. So that was great. Of course, 
the bike scene. Oh, and now I'm going to go back. Finally, now that I watched it, I know they, because I, of course, you guys all know I'm on YouTube because of how much I do for the channel on the back end stuff. So, of course, I know that Sony or Paramount, whatever the stupid channel is, put out a video of him on the bike. I got it on save. So now I'm going to go back and finally watch it to see what, it, how much they give on the, because yeah. it's like behind the scenes, I think. Uh, so I can't wait to watch that now, seeing what I just saw. And dude, those shots with him uh, with On the parachute. Oh, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. See, I thought it'd be just the bike. Yeah. See, that's the crazy thing. Like we all thought the bike stunt was going to be the big stunt no. for this movie, and no, it wasn't. Like I'm not going to say it wasn't close to the big stunt. It was huge because Tom actually did it. But like the train scene, the 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 other parachuting scene. I mean, all that was crazy intense and they didn't give any of that away in the trailer and i loved that mm. the uh the action the dude this was <laughs> the fight in the space that's big yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that was innovative yeah, very uh Completely the innovative. the the little lull we got a little lull after rebecca and that was just to bring the tempo down a little yeah. bit to give yep. the, the audience a little breather but then we went right back up this movie, it was a solid two hours and 35 minutes. I know it says it's like 246 because of all the credits, but it was a solid 235. I personally did not feel that 235. It felt like a half an hour like episode. Yeah, so it's... if there are some, I'm sure there's some that felt it and was like probably yeah. didn't need to be that long. You could ah. give me four hours on part two. Yeah. Well, give me, give wow. me six, whatever it takes. Okay. So, so for me, this Easy is, there, I, 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 I disagree with it didn't feel that long. I, I, it's perfect, right? It's perfect, and it could have been longer. And my reasoning behind saying it did feel that long is because the action is... You it, feel it, exhausted. It's exhausting <laughs> action. In the last one, that helicopter chase with Henry Cavill and Tom Cruise <laughs> in the last, I thought it was, it was so brilliant, but it was so emotionally exhausting, <laughs> and I know that's dramatic for a movie. Look, I know it's dramatic for a movie. It felt like it was three hours long because it felt like it was... <laughs> Not for this guy. But, but, but it's subjective. But I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. It like, took a lot out like, of you. Oh, yeah. it felt yeah. like it's so long because it dragged on. No, it's just it took so much out of me. <laughs> and this movie was like so like, so it, 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 it didn't feel like it wasn't something where it felt like it went like that for me. It, it felt long, but every single second in this movie felt like it had to be there and it was done it, it was just done perfect it's, mm. it's like literal perfection i'm ready to watch oh, it again right now if i'm honest Time for yeah well just still with the uh the little details too yep like i thought that was genius yep. as well because like the grease like the yeah, grease in the scene, scene the kitchen scene oh, the kitchen yeah trained. there would have been i don't recall because it, it's great to make that. sure yeah no. that the that the floor is slick yep. and it's not as easy yep. to get up because otherwise it would have been pretty easy for him to get up not with the fruit the grease yep. all that stuff but all then that. the hose every, comes up there's gonna be a fire the detail i think answer mentioned it. i don't know if it's gonna make the cut even the wind burn out in the desert the wind yeah. slash yeah on rebecca's face detail you can possibly want the thing that was interesting with uh rebecca and tom's character is that this has to be one of the first movies or even franchises I can remember where there's a, a male and a female lead and there's not like a romantic story there necessarily. You know, they never really had that they because never Tom always had always had Julia. <laughs> you know, he always had his wife. Right. Well, yeah. now separate. So it was, that was really interesting to see uh, a couple have that on-screen chemistry the way they did and it not have to be a romantic one. And I think that makes it unique and makes it stand it's, out it's in people's head. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm almost surprised that they didn't. Well, I, I'm glad they didn't, right? Because it's too easy to go back to Michelle yeah. and be like, "Hey, we got her," but they kept it to Rebecca and Haley here. Yep. So it's just like, or Elsa. But well, gosh, where do you want to pick her on? Ah, uh, this I'll make this work, guys. For me, this is not only one of the easiest uh, scores I've done on the channel in a real long time. I'm going to go on and say this is Tom Cruise's best movie he's ever done. I think it's better than Top Gun Maverick. I will stick to that. If nothing else, 
with all the story and the characters and the action and everything else, not having to necessarily rely on nostalgia, not saying that was bad for Maverick. Maverick was incredible, made tons of money, everybody loved it. But in terms of quality, I think this one's better. The only thing that drags it down is Pom being a complete Terminator. I mean, guys, let's be honest here. <laughs> she got her head smashed into that concrete wall and did not have any concussion side effects. But What's the next it's day? Hollywood because where am I going to draw the line? I just saw Tom Cruise jump a motorcycle over a cliff with a parachute. So if I can accept that, I can accept just about anything in this universe. They do it so perfectly. Whew, that's a long way to get to five yeah. out of five answers. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was gonna do a little joke, but you took so much time that I'm just gonna sit here and go, I give it a five out of five answers. Uh, you gotta the do last justice. One, the last one, you know, I gave a 4.9 because I felt there was just a little tiny bit of improvement, which they did. Yeah. So I cannot wait for part two. Still, I will also say a Top Gun is still better. Maverick. Uh, yeah. His best is still Days of Thunder. Uh, he met Michael Rooker's movie. <laughs> Tom Cruise's best film is Maverick. And Maverick is, I will argue, the, the even if, above Shawshank for me, I think Maverick is the greatest film of all time because of the nostalgia mm -hmm. factor. It took all the action you have from any movie and nostalgia. Maverick's the greatest film of all time for me. However, this is the just as easy of a five as I've ever given <laughs> on this channel. This movie was absolute perfection. And I mean perfection with a capital P. It doesn't get any better than this. I cannot wait for part two. Just bravo, mind blown. Just all right, time amazing. for Dave to give it a 4.1. No, well, it's not a, it, so there's a couple of nitpicks that I have. So I'm gonna go four seven on this one. There's a, a couple of nitpicks that I didn't like uh, with the train scene. <clears throat> Again, I'm not an engineer. I, I know I'm, I'm not in the, you know, quantum physics, we'll just say for funsies, but the way they kept the train one run it up or do whatever they got to do and two and then run it back up run it back up and three to me that i don't see how that physically happens and if i know there's a lot of smart people out there so please tell me if i'm really way off or you know give me some kind of description too because in my eyes it's doing it with the one car goes you're on a track there's no brake stopping it and it goes down at least that's it so i'm gonna nitpick that and then there was one spot where i called it out in the film of course now i can't i'll have to go back and uh, when i'm editing this where i called out something where it was just a cut and then boom they were there I didn't like that either because it didn't show how they got there. I know which one oh, you're talking yeah. about, but I, I can't place yeah, I can't it. I remember, remember thinking I remember the same thing that. where it's just like, oh, we're here already. Okay. Yeah, there were, it was yeah. This, a specific character, specific spot. Of course, in the review now, I can't remember. But I will highlight it uh, in the in the edit. I'll make sure it's in the cut. So it'll be there. <laughs> but uh, other than that, this, again, this was a friggin' fantastic of a film i am really excited to see what dead reckoning part two is going to be and of course with the ai i kind of wanted to jump in but i didn't want to cut you off on that like this was actually made a few years ago right it's just because of uh the good old funsies that we had with yep. uh 2020 uh and I, I shouldn't even say funsies 2020 happened and then that's when this got halted along with the other a uh, lot of other projects so you know this actually came out or it was done before chat gpt and everything so now because we're there there <laughs> and you know chat gpt happened I more think about that yeah, yeah i can't remember the official date of when chat GP, uh, chat gpt came out i think it was early this year or late last year and you know, either way it came out in the last 12 months where it was boom everyone knows about it this was already pretty much complete, almost. Uh, it was still in production in 2020, so they were kind of ahead of the game. But now, I, you know, AI yeah, now is really fresh in our minds, yeah. right? Over the last year, well, so I, I still think it's great of what they're doing. Yeah, that's the problem with you know big budget movies. You got to find a villain, you got to find a device, you got to find something that makes the plot. So, that's so bridge off. blew up right here. So you have train cars that aren't one solid train. So the car it breaks off. 
the train hangs, it's pulling down straight down. Wait, all yeah. the force. But right that here. that bracket is gonna break. It's not which made to hold. But it's also not train, at a perfectly is, ninety degree angle. Right, Remember yeah. the bridge so is hanging down. Let me down. know. Which let is me why know. We saw the bridge. All right, Neil deGrasse Tyson. That I was. Oh my God, dude! I was two seconds ago. I was gonna say we need Neil deGrasse Tyson to get in here. And Neil, if you're watching, but reach I am, out to I am us. defending the physics of that I think. because I think with the way it broke and pulled straight down and showed the bridge <laughs> crushing. And here's one thing I'm Could gonna be. say. I think Tom probably sat and say, how would this play out with a train on a bridge? And I think that they sure. and pulling down like that, they showed the bridge crush and the next one would pull. And then I think it was one of the later cars when it was pulling because there wasn't all the connecting weight. Then we saw it lift up. So I agree with you. It was like, it felt like but it was a lot, but I think that, that right there is what hangs me up. Like, okay, so it, bend, it bends up. If it was linked, like you said, why would this chart or why would this train car go up? Why wouldn't it just, as soon as it gets here, snap and go? Because it, it didn't have the weight of the other cars holding it down. So it lifted up that last car. It lifted up that last car. So the weight would pull. Yeah. Either way, it's still, I'll have to go back and Science. watch that. Was, that, was, that still doesn't sit right with me. On one car versus I one car. Again, that's one tiny little nip. Pick sure. that still didn't even affect the movie. You know, so, so you're going to dispute that fact, not everything else, like the concussion, the, the car, the Fiat, being able to drive as good as it was. But the train, my goodness, hey, the train. that Fiat, that electric Fiat, <laughs> that was genius, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, with the, yeah. what else would you with the fights at this point in, this, in the game, yeah. And I really wonder why they saved the blood for like two moments. That if was, anyone knows that, that very very if you made it this far. Maybe it has to do with the rating. And uh, it was good to see Rebecca Ferguson in her last scene still doing a bunch of her fight scenes that brought yes. her to the game. She had her signature moves that she did. That was great. Held back by the knife wound. Oh. And now we right. wait. Now we wait. And now, now we wait. And now wait. we play the waiting game. So for Diamond Dave Appleton. Oh, isn't it? Holy crap. And that's, of course, Mason Quinn. I'm the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, but good night, pals.